Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me here, the master of poppets. Today, looking at a crawler of beer from Basement Beer Bar uh, that we got right here. Huge crawler, sharing this one with a friend, and should be good. So, this beer, guys, is another beer by Bad Seed Brewing. Uh, my good friend Fallek and old colleague from when I used to work in Ulkonsorgel, when that place still existed. Uh, is the guy behind Bad Seed Brewing, and you probably have seen the review of the Lazarite Resurrection IPA I reviewed at Basement, where he said a few words about it beforehand. But this is his Good Morning Vietnam 8.3% Sweet Stout. Now I need to say this, this has been in the crawler for over a month, because I was slow to go and pick this crawler up at Basement. But I've been told that these crawlers with stouts is perfectly fine in the can, and, and as you can see in the glass, it's still got head retention and whatnot. But it's a milk stout, made with lactose, of course, and Vietnamese coffee. So this has been in the fridge to keep it, you know, fresh uh, after uh, crawlering it. So it's a bit too cold for my liking with stouts, but it should be more, I guess, iced coffee-like because he said, or it says, like, in his description of the beer that it's kind of like well, uh, iced coffee in beer form because of the lactose and the coffee. So we got the Bad Seed Brewing. Also, by the way, thanks a ton to Fallet because he was the one supplying this crawler for me, so thanks, dude. Uh, but, so, the color on the Good Morning Vietnam, I guess you'd almost say Imperial Milk Stout because it's so strong, 8.3%, but that is a nice black color in the stout glass. Um, bit of red tones in the bottom of the glass, nice mm, two-finger, kind of a frothy, thick-looking, almost like looks like meringue, <laughs> the head there, like a, a tan head. Looks really nice in the glass. Kind of looks like, you know, kind of a milk coffee. Like, that head is, like, sticking. I don't know if you guys can see that. Autofocus is not on, so I'm not going to move it closer to the camera, but uh, it almost looks like it's like, like a little meringue or a piece of cream or something like that on top. But let's check out the aroma on the Good Morning Vietnam. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's coffee forward for sure. Coffee, licorice toasty, roasty. It's kind of like some vanilla undertones from the lactose. The lactose sweetness with vanilla is almost marshmallow-like, actually. It smells really nice, but it's it's a bit too cold for me. I've noticed a lot of American people, especially when I see pictures on Instagram and stuff, like they drink, you can see it on the glassware and on the, the, the bottles of their stouts that they've been sitting in the fridge and they're ice cold because it's got like condensed water or condensed, yeah, I guess it's called condensed water on the sides of the glass and bottle. I don't get why you chill down your stouts. You get so much more flavor out of them at room temp. I know the whole idea of warming it up and sipping on it, and that's nice too, because you get a varied flavor profile, but I still much prefer to drink it just straight from the cellar with no fridging, uh, so you get like a full flavor profile. The only beers I really put in my fridge are lighter ABV beers and lighter colored beers, like IPAs and whatnot, and sours. Uh, dark beers and barley wines, whatnot, I just drink straight from the cellar, that's what I prefer. But, smells really awesome. Really love the coffee nuances. It's even got like a little bit of a kick of hop notes, like a, kind of like a green, almost like citrusy grapefruity hop thing going on, just lightly, but it smells really nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers guys, and thanks a ton to my friend and brewer of Vancey Brewing Firelight for this one. Ah, oh, that is really nice. That is, that is like iced coffee. Like iced, what's, what's the coffee called with vanilla in it and milk? Is that a mocha? I think it is. It's kind of like that almost. Um, that is really good. And for being in the crawler for over a month, this has held up perfectly fine. This is drinking great. Mm. Because it's cold though, and because it's um, like a bit sweet and whatnot, it's so sluggable for it. 8% beer. This could get you in trouble. If I was drinking this crawler on my own, I'd drink it way too fast, I think. <laughs> this is really tasty. Kind of think like a milk stout, just with a ton of coffee to it. It's not as sludgy and rich and thick as Imperial Stouts, but it's still got like a nice, chewy, medium, silky mouthfeel from the lactose, and of course also the malt. Really nice coffee nuances in there. The Vietnamese coffee really shines through. It's got that like freshly roasted, kind of espresso-esque coffee flavor, not all the way in green coffee bean thing, 
or like bell pepper can sometimes give off if you use coffee and beer. I'm not getting that. It's more like just fresh coffee in there, like fresh espresso. You're getting some vanilla from the lactose, nice lactose sweetness, that milky sweetness. Again, it's almost marshmallowy in flavor profile if you kind of like think of the sweetness from the lactose and, and that vanilla note and whatnot. And then nice roasty tones too. Roasty, toasty, slightly caramelly as well. A charry feel to it, lightly burnt almost, but really nice. The, co the coffee is really nice in there. One of the better milk stouts I've had in a while. Let's go on 93. It's really nice. It's not like super mind blowing. It's just like super dead on milk stout. Like really, really excellent stuff. And the addition of coffee just gives you a, a bit more complexity. Again, I probably myself drink it a bit warmer, but hey, today we're doing it cold straight from the fridge because it's a crawler. So, guys, if you've had a chance to try the Bad Sea Brewing Good Morning Vietnam, uh, I don't know if I should say Imperial Milk Stout, but let's just say Milk Stout with coffee. Definitely let me know what you think of it, and thanks a ton to Fight Like for supplying this one, and uh, yeah, supplying it for the review. And yeah, let me know, guys. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. I only think Bad Seed Brewing is available in Denmark at the moment on kegs. I'm not entirely sure of that, but keep your eye out for some of their stuff. So I'm gonna say cheers, guys, and uh, see you in another beer review.